Hello everyone, this is Austin from Raw Bliss. Uh, just got started with my day at the park. My celery juice and coconut water. Took a screenshot there for some reason. I got some epic mangoes. I haven't had mangoes in like, like a week or something. And uh, yeah, it's end of mango season here, so Try to get them in while I can. Obviously, I just want to eat durian, but um, you know, I'm not gonna have that every day because uh, it's still quite expensive, to be honest. And uh, yeah, yesterday I spent like twenty-five dollars on durian, maybe more, twenty-seven. And uh, yeah, let's try out these mangoes. Wow. It's almost like a jello consistency. Really, really sweet. Mm. Wow. Vietnam has the best mangoes I've had so far, in my personal opinion. I've been to India, Philippines, Malaysia, Indonesia. I've had Mexican mangoes. It's just melt in your mouth. So good. So many varieties here too. Not as much as India. And when I was in India, I only tried maybe 15 varieties. And I don't know. There's probably like 100 in India. Like a lot, a lot. A lot, a lot. Mm. They have this, like this interesting, almost like a starchiness that I'm not mad about. Super ripe too. Perfectly yellow, no green. This one's gonna be a good one. You can tell all these spots on them. I've been watching a lot of John Kohler videos recently. That guy is so inspiring, I swear. Makes me want to start a little garden on my balcony. I got to figure out which greens I can grow that aren't going to get destroyed by the sun because it gets really intense sunlight like midday. Anyways, I'm just going to sit here and get blissed out on mangoes. <laughs> Got to go See you guys for a little swim now. It's about 11 o'clock. And I just got back from uh, my visa agent. My agent, I guess. And uh, yeah, the price went up again. You know, since COVID, they got really expensive for visas. Like when I first came to Vietnam, it was um, I got a one year visa, a one year resident or not residency business visa you know so i could work here legally and that only cost me 120 dollars and now guess what i'm paying for three months three months of a business visa 120 dollars actually it went up eight dollars um since the last three months uh so i got one beginning of the year I just had to renew it. So yeah, $120 every three months. Insane, the most expensive visa I've ever had. But you know, it is what it is, I guess. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna change in my swimsuit and get 
Oh yeah, it's high tide. Oh, yeah, it's my favorite time to swim. Uh, during the morning and the evening, it's like the busiest here. Like everybody goes swimming uh, at that time because right now it's like pretty hot and like people don't like to be out in the sun too much here in Vietnam, uh, you know, except for like a few select people. So yeah, right, so go. here's what Get we got changed. for lunch. I found one of my favorite yellow orange flesh papayas. Then I got a little red papaya as well. And some very ripe sapodilla. About to get into this. All right, let's start with highest excitement. I'm kind of excited about these sapodilla. These look really good. Mmm. Straight up maple syrup vibes. But I do want to try this papaya. Haven't been eating the seeds lately, just not really feeling it. Yeah. It's pretty good. Let's try this red papaya. Sometimes the red ones are better. Hmm. Yeah. I think I'll stick to the Sapodilla today. Mm. So freaking juicy, man. It might just be these are so sweet. I can't even taste the sweetness in that papaya. That's why mono meals truly are the best. But I wanted to diversify today. <laughs> wow. Such a beautiful day here. You guys are all doing well. So I thought I'd revisit the papaya after finishing the sapodillas. See if it's better. Yep. Yeah, I can definitely taste the flavor more, more now. That's crazy. This is why I don't do fruit salads, you guys. You cannot taste the flavors of the fruits. And that's how you tell what is the most nutritious fruit is what is the tastiest fruit. Wow. Caramel goodness. crazy the papayas here they're just like hard on the outside and like so soft and juicy on the inside mm. so glad i got Check it out, guys <laughs> i'm gonna make a little soup and salad sort of raw soup salad thing i've um, got bok choy got these peppers i found this cool little store that had all this like organic stuff um, that I actually haven't seen this uh, tomato variety before. They're super good. Not very acidic at all, like very deep, like tomato flavor. Some bean sprouts. I got a noni for a little cheesy spiciness. Butter lettuce. And this is like um, coral lettuce, I think it's called. 
It's really good. I love the texture on this. And then I got some cucumbers. So I'm thinking about like juicing half of it and then like leaving the, the rest like for texture and then like maybe blending something. I don't know. <laughs> but um, we're going to see. We're going to play around here. Should be fun. All right. After like 30 minutes of prep, I'm telling you guys I'm not used to this much prep. Here's the soup. Very rich in pigments, as you can tell. And then here's the salad. See the little drops of noni. These amazing tomatoes. Cucumber, bell pepper, bean sprouts, and the lettuces. Just a little bit of bok choy, mostly coral and butter leaf lettuce because those are the best texture. And the bok choy juice, mostly in here. So I'm gonna sip on this and pour a little in here. See how it is? Really one hour later. I sipped all the, the juice. Juice was amazing on its own. Um, probably could use some herbs, maybe something spicy. I was thinking about getting a chili, but I really didn't want to go back out for another ingredient. But I did have some ginger, so I grated some ginger on top. Let's see how that is. I don't think I got a bite with ginger. Mm. There it is. Mm. Those tomatoes are really good. Yeah, I probably won't be doing this again. <laughs> Maybe I'll be juicing some other things rather than the bok choy. Maybe the, I think the bok choy kind of over, overpowers it. Let me know if you guys have ever tried this or put, you know, juices in your um, salad dressing. That ginger is nice in there. But um, I was watching a John Kohler video and he was telling me, he wasn't telling me, he was, you know, saying in the video that he does red bell pepper or not red bell pepper, he does a pepper juice for like a soup in the afternoon because he grows all these different peppers. But of course here I only have the bell pepper. Hmm. Which is very nice, I like them a lot, just on their own. I could honestly just make a meal of them, especially with these tomatoes, these tomatoes like candy. Could use some citrus. I could see, I could envision, you know, some garlic. Definitely some herbs. I don't know why I didn't get cilantro. Mm. Oh yeah. I got a bite with the noni. That helped a lot. Noni is such a complex flavor. It's like cheesy, spicy, numbing, like you don't need the chili when you got that. But anyways, that's going to do it for today's video. If you enjoyed, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more. Comment down below. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love.